If you've just splurged on the new S8, the thought of this may give you nightmares. Samsung has raised the bar on design with its new flagship phone. Slight metal frame, curved glass on either side, and an edge-to-edge -edge screen that'll make you swoon. Except unlike the previous S7, the curves are not optional this time. And while they are beautiful, all that glass could make the phone more fragile. Both sides are made with the strongest Gorilla Glass 5, so in theory, it should be tougher to crack than the S7 Edge with Gorilla Glass 4. But is the S8 tough enough to survive these everyday accidents? Whether you're pulling your phone out of your pocket for directions or slipping it back into your purse, you've probably had a scare like this one. So for our first test, we'll be dropping it from roughly hip height onto the sidewalk. Looks like it landed on the metal border, so I'm hopeful, but let's take a look. You guys can see it first. Oh, we have the first crack on the back. <laughs> it's very, very slight, but no other visible damage, just where it sustained the biggest hit. It sustained enough damage to make you cry if you just bought this beautiful new phone, but the screen is still intact, so we're gonna continue with our next test and go take some photos. Unless you're into selfie sticks, you'll probably be taking most of your pictures at around eye level. And if your phone is as smooth as the S8, keeping a steady grip can be tough. Let's set our next drop at 5 feet. It landed face up and I can tell you now the screen did survive. So let's see. You can take a look at it first. Oh, so the back continued to break, which is no surprise because it had already been compromised on our previous test. There are now bigger cracks extending through the rest of the phone and down to the other edge. But the screen is fine. I am seeing another dent on the side, but other than that, all of the damage is on the back. You could probably still mask this with a good case, so we're gonna see what kind of damage this next test does. This one is hopefully less likely, but it still happens. Your hands are full and the roof of the car seems like a perfectly good place to set your phone on while you open the car door. What's not good is forgetting to bring it in with you. Car heights vary, but we've set our next test at five feet, 10 inches. I really tried to have it land on the screen, but it didn't, I can see the screen and it looks okay. I'll show you first again. I'm more concerned about the camera right now. Oh, it really doesn't have that much more damage than it already did and it landed on the street. Yeah, I can see a lot of the same cracks. have gotten a little bit worse, but not what I expected. I expected it to be in spider webs and it did hit the screen, there's some scuffs over here on the screen, some dents, but no cracks. Impressive. So yes, we broke the phone, but after what we put it through, I was expecting it to end up looking a lot worse than it did. And solely based on our unscientific tests, it seems like the screen side is better at withstanding the drops. But it could have been a matter of luck, and even if your phone were to land on the exact same angle from the same height on a similar surface, you'd probably still get different results. So put a case on that beautiful phone and definitely don't try this at home.